Is it better now? Sounds like rain. I call. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, no. Oh, it's better now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Because <laughs> me and technology, my leaders. Okay, now it's fine now. It's fine. Hey, Chita, it's okay. Joe, so sorry about that. I heard the static. Now that I'm, I can check the Facebook now, I don't know what was the issue. But yeah, it was my settings. How is everyone? How is everyone? Good morning, good morning, everyone. Remember when you come into class? Remember the class? We say hello, and I hope you've got your alkaline high caps, please. We need to drink, we need to stay hydrated. It's very, very important. So I'm asking you right now, please drink your water from the alkaline high cap right now. We are starting, so yeah, it's now 10 past. I said we will start just before, but okay, it's fine. We had the problem with the static wind tunnel. Okay, my leaders, remember we drink as much as we can. Mm. Okay, we drink as much as possible. We need to stay hydrated. It is not because you are clever, but it's because you are smart. <laughs> if you are smart. Okay, my leaders, pen your your book, right? When you write all the nice stuff, must be there. Remember for you too, for ease of reference. Because not, not everyone can remember everything, right? Myself included. Sometimes I, oh, I, I have to refer to my notes, you know? Some of the times I have to refer to my notes. So this week is, uh, it, it, it's international, not international, it's SEDEC Malaria Week. It's SEDEC Malaria Week. So the countries of SEDEC is what? It's our South Africa, you know, the lower part, you know, Zimbabwe, you know? 
um, Swaziland, you know, the lower part, Serek. Um, malaria is a very serious issue, my leaders. I was actually astounded as I was doing my research that I don't know why we don't really talk about malaria as much as we talk about everything else. So class is starting, okay. See, now there's flies around me, so just hold on because they are annoying, you know? Okay, thank God for the mosquito repellent spray. All right, so malaria. Let's first find out what is malaria? Okay. All right. So malaria is a disease. Why are you laughing, my leader's man? Don't laugh. <laughs> malaria is a disease caused by a parasite. The parasite is spread to humans through the bites of infected mosquitoes. People who have malaria usually feel very sick with a high fever and shaking chills. Okay? While the disease is uncommon in temperate climates, malaria is still common in tropical and subtropical countries. Each year, listen to this. Listen to this. Now I'm looking at my phone as if you're here, but you can't. Oh my goodness. Each year, nearly 290 million people are infected with malaria. These are worldwide stats, right? 290. Nearly 290 million people are infected with malaria. Ne? Okay. And more than 400,000 people die of the disease. Please write those stats down. They, they are for you to start motivating why we need long reach products. So each year, nearly 290 people are infected with malaria. And of that 290 million, more than 400,000 people die of the disease uh, every year. To reduce malaria infections, World Health programs distribute uh, preventative drugs and insecticide-treated bed nets to, pro to protect people from mosquito bites. The World Health Organization has recommended a malaria vaccine for use in children who live in countries with high numbers of malaria cases. So protective clothing, all right? Bed nets and insecticides can protect you while traveling. You also can take preventative medicine before, during, and after a trip to a high risk area. Many malaria parasites have developed re resistance to common drugs used to treat the disease. Hey, these mosquitoes are evolving, evolving leaders. Eh. So, what are the symptoms that you can look out for for malaria? Okay, there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12 of them, okay? So, signs and symptoms of malaria may include fever. Welcome to the Tito, the Kati. Fever, chills, general feeling of discomfort, headache, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, hey, diarrhea is everywhere, ne? abdominal pain, muscle or joint pain, fatigue, we're talking about incessant fatigue here, not just you're tired tomorrow, hey, you hear, no, incessant fatigue, rapid heart rate, and lastly, coughing. Who would have thought about coughing <laughs> as uh, one of the symptoms of malaria? Coughing, good people. Some people who have malaria experience cycles, cycles of something called malaria attacks. Remember this asthma attack? So here we're talking about malaria attack. An attack usually starts with shivering and chills, followed by a high fever, followed by sweating and a return to normal temperature. All right? Malaria signs and symptoms typically, typically begin within a few weeks after being bitten. Imagine, a few weeks after being bitten. Welcome, Leader Austin. Welcome, welcome. Where are you from, leadership? So malaria signs and symptoms typically begin within a few weeks after being bitten by an infected mosquito. However, some types of malaria parasites can lie dormant in your body for up to a year. <laughs> you know, I almost fell off my chair when I saw this. <laughs> I'm like, what? Having a parasite sitting in your body for up to 12 months. No, that's, that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. So when do you need to see a doctor? Talk to your doctor if you experience a fever while living in 
while living in or after traveling to a high-risk malaria region. If you have severe symptoms, seek emergency uh, medical attention. This is, you know, this is serious. Did you hear? 290, close to 290 million uh, people are infected with malaria and 400,000 succumb to the disease. So this is actually very serious. Oh, 190 million, 290. Okay, causes. Malaria is caused by a single cell parasite of the genus Plasmodium. Now we're talking biology now. The parasite is transmitted to humans most commonly through mosquito bites. All right, this is a mosquito transmission cycle, all right? Uninfected, yes, called Z. Uninfected mosquito, a mosquito becomes infected by feeding on a person who has malaria. Then transmission of parasites. If this mosquito bites you in the future, it can transmit malaria parasites to you. Yes, you. In the liver, yes, you heard me right, liver, L-I-V-E-R, in the liver. Once a parasite enter your body, they travel to your liver where some types can lie dormant for as long as a year. Thank you, Wena Onalena. Welcome, Makakanyo. Welcome. Welcome to the Dudu. 290 million customers. All right, so we're done with the liver. Ne? I said once a parasite enter, enters your body, they travel to your liver where, you, where um, some types can, be, can lie dormant for as long as a year. And then in your bloodstream, when the parasites mature, they leave the liver and infect your red blood cells. This is when typ this is when people typically develop malaria symptoms. And then on to the next person. If an uninfected mosquito bites you at this point, uh, at this point in the cycle, it will become infected with your malaria parasites and can spread them to other people it bites. Yeah, I think I just saw a mosquito passing by. <laughs> so this is very cycle uh, uh, serious. Right, other modes of transmission of malaria, uh, because the parasites that cause malaria affect red blood cells, people can also catch malaria from exposure to, infecting, uh, to, in, uh, to infected blood. All right, these include from mother to unborn child, right, so pregnant mummies, second, through blood transfusions, and thirdly, by sharing needles used to inject drugs. Okay, what are the risk factors? Okay, the greatest risk factor for developing malaria is to live in or to visit areas where the disease is common. Welcome, welcome, Lida Muzi, welcome. These include the tropical and subtropical regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, South and Southeast Asia, Pacific Islands, Central America, and Northern South America. Uh, Lila Richard, where, where in America do you fall here? <laughs> Where's California? Does it fall in, in uh, Central America or Northern South America? I don't know. I haven't done that homework yet. The degree of risk depends on local ma uh, malaria control, seasonal changes in malaria, malaria rates, and the precautions you take to prevent mosquito bites. Right. Risk of more severe diseases. People at increased risk of serious diseases include, so high risk for malaria, uh, young children and infants, older adults, travelers coming from areas with no malaria, so they don't know anything about malaria, and then pregnant women and their unborn children. West Coast. So, okay, so you're not Central America or South America then. Okay. You are safe leader, you said. <laughs> In many countries with high malaria, malaria rates, the problem is worsened by lack of access to preventative measures, medical care, and information. Yeah, that's the thing. Information. Information, guys. My leaders, information is very crucial. Um, then there's something called immunity going down. Immunity can wane. Residents of a malaria region may be exposed to the disease enough to acquire a partial immunity which can lessen the severity of malaria symptoms. However, this partial immunity can disappear if you move to a place where you're no longer frequently exposed to the parasite. Okay, and then complications. 
Malaria can be fatal, particularly when caused by the plasmodium species common in Africa. Common way in Africa. The World Health Organization estimates that about 94% of all malaria deaths occur in Africa, most commonly in children under the age of five. So 94% of that number, that 400,000, how much is it? That's the number. It's almost that, the 100%. Yeah, 94% of 400,000, how much is that? Those are our customers that are dying, the children of our customers, because it's mainly, uh, it's commonly in children who are under five years old. Welcome, Lila Pindile. Okay, malaria deaths are usually related to one or more serious complications. That includes, there are five of them, okay? There's five of them, the complications. Um, cerebral malaria. If parasites hold blood, uh, blood cells block small blood vessels to your brain, that is called cerebral malaria. Swelling of your brain or brain damage may occur. Cerebral malaria may cause seizures and coma. Let that sink in, that's how serious malaria is. Then another complication is breathing problems. So we started with cerebral malaria, right? That affects your brain. And now we're talking about breathing problems. Your lungs, accumulated fluid in your lungs is now called pulmonary edema, can make it difficult to breathe. So brain, lungs, okay? And then the third one, organ failure. Malaria can damage the kidneys or liver or cause the spleen to rupture. Any of these conditions can be life-threatening. OMG. The fourth one, anemia. Malaria may, may result in not having enough red blood cells for an adequate supply of oxygen to your body's tissues. And that is called, thank you, my darling, Mona Lena. Yes, what about 376,000? That is already that 400,000 number. Wow, thank you for doing the calculation, my angel. And then the fifth one, low blood sugar. Severe forms of malaria can cause low blood sugar, which is called hypoglycemia, um, as can quinine, a common medication used to combat malaria. Very low blood sugar can result in coma or death. So ladies and gentlemen, the complications are as follows. Hey, I'm not laughing. Cerebral malaria, so it affects your brain. Uh, the parasitical blood cells block small blood vessels to your brain, all right? Breathing problems, it causes pulmonary edema uh, where um, there's an accumulation of fluid in your lungs. Third one, organ failure. It can go as far as affecting your kidneys, your liver, or your spleen to rupture. My goodness. Anemia, anemia has got to do with what? with kidneys as well, right? And then low blood sugar. Sure, like I'm doing this right now because it is so shocking that not enough is done uh, when it comes to malaria. I don't know, what do you think? Did you know that malaria was so serious before we started the show, before we started training? Okay, malaria may recur. Some varieties of the malaria par parasite, which typically cause milder forms of the disease can persist for years and cause relapses. So preventative methods. If you live in or are traveling to an area where malaria is common, take steps to avoid mosquito bites. Mosquitoes are most active between dusk and dawn. To protect yourself from mosquito bites, you should, number one, cover your skin. So wear pants and long sleeve shirts or long skirts. Tuck in your shirt and tuck hand legs into your socks. All right, so like, look like a nerd, basically. Second, apply insect repellent to the skin. Apply insect repellent to skin. Use an insect repellent registered with the Environmental Protection Agency on any exposed skin. These include repellents that contain DEET. Hello, our mosquito spray contains DEET, even the, um, what's that, the yellow one now? Now, why did I forget that one? Hi, the snake oil spray, that one, it also has DEET, you know? 
Picaridin, and then the name are the other products which I won't name. I don't need to because hello, we are still sorted. Okay. Then apply repellent to clothing, like you saw. I did apply the spray to my clothing. Um, and then sleep under a net. All right. Those are preventative measures that you can do. And then there are preventative uh, medicine. Um, if you'll be traveling to a location where malaria is common, talk to your doctor a few months ahead of time about whether you should take drugs before, during, and after your trip to help protect you from malaria parasites. Remember in long we've got travel incentives. So leaders who are qualifying and qualifying, check um, if the country that you'll be going to, if, if, if there's no malaria alarm. Okay, speak to your doctor months before, all right? Uh, in general, the drugs taken to prevent malaria are the same drugs used to treat the disease. What, what drug you take depends on where and how long you are traveling and your own health. So it also depends on how healthy you are. And then vaccine, the World Health Organization has recommended a malaria vaccine for use in children who live in countries with high numbers of malaria cases. And researchers, researchers, are continuing to develop and study malaria vaccines to prevent infection. Ah, oh. long reach bow his hand, cordyceps military supplement. Great for treating malaria and many other um, diseases. All right, cordyceps military is a natural antibiotic. It's great for anything to do with the lungs. Hello, what did, what did you just say? The lungs, the kidney, the liver, the heart. It's good for any disease that is degenerative. Um, let's see, inhibits the spread of pathogenic organisms. So malaria, yes. It revives dead cells, feeds the cell, and protects the cell. Uh, it's a Chinese traditional healing medicine. It regulates blood pressure and blood sugar levels. What did I just say right now about um, blood sugar levels and malaria? Leaders, are we learning? Are we learning? I spoke about blood sugar levels. I spoke about um, the complications of malaria, cerebral uh, malaria, the brain, breathing problems. It affects the lungs, organ failure. It affects your kidneys, your liver, even as far as your spleen to rupture, anemia, Low blood sugar levels. Hello. Bow he turns. Cordyceps military. Our most potent uh, supplement. And then, thank you, Leader Richard. And then I will always, always recommend brown tea. Before you take a long reach supplement, whatever supplement, please. Learn to detox your system for three days. Remember the brown tea in South Africa right now? Uh, they've just uh, extended the promotion. The buy two, get one free. Hello. The Mokaba Masfall tea is also good for, for your liver support. It's also good for the kidneys. I have, I have patients that are, um, that are anemic that vouch for this product. I've got patients that are sugar diabetic that vouch for this product. So what more do we want? So uh, when somebody has um, what you call it malaria or live in a, a malaria danger zone, so to speak, uh, you know, the tropical countries, South Africa, the neighboring sub-Saharan African countries, these are the products that you can recommend. The long reach brown tea, right? Our cordyceps militaries, not forgetting, remember, our uh, uh, our mosquito repelling uh, spray. It lasts more than eight hours. Okay. And the nice part that is that it's also multifunctional. It's not just for mosquitoes. It's for many other things. You know, you can also use it as a sanitizer. And the nice part is that your hands will be, will be smelling great for the next eight hours plus. Oh, my goodness. The spray is amazing. Okay, my leaders. We, we, we are done with malaria. Um, I want to share this article with you. Okay, let me just mention these 10 factors. Things that you should know, uh, it's 10 things, okay? Malaria is a serious disease that can cause death. 
All right, that's the first one. The second one, I'm going to share this a document with you, this link with you, so that you can also download it for yourself. Number two, in South Africa, malaria areas. Hi, Nana. Bye bye. <laughs> in South Africa, malaria areas include the northern eastern part of Limpopo along the borders with Mozambique and Zimbabwe, the low felt areas of Mpumalanga, including Kruger National Park, but excluding Mbombela and immediate surround, surrounding areas and the far northern part of KwaZulu-Natal. That's the second one. Third one, not all mosquitoes can carry malaria. Number four, you might not notice malaria right away. Remember, the parasites can last up to a year in your system. Okay? Number five, you might not, uh, uh, number five, you can get malaria months after being bitten. Remember I just said? Six, fewer people are getting malaria every day. Thank God for that. The World Health Organization has found that the number of people with malaria has gone down by 54% in Africa since the year 2000. The seventh, you can protect yourself by dressing smartly and using long-wish products. Hello. The eighth, you can take malaria tablets if you live in a malaria area. What did I say? Cordyceps military is a very great supplement to protect you from malaria. And the ninth one, people with weaker immune systems have a higher chance of getting malaria. This includes young children, babies, pregnant women, and older people. And then the tenth one, malaria can be treated. Hallelujah. Thank God for that. So let me just share this link with you, leaders. And you will. Yes, Onalena, we've got customers for days. All right. There is a link, my leaders. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Okay. Shows, but it's not showing here on my PC, on my phone. Okay, my little. So we've got customers for days. We've got customers for everything: malaria, COVID. Hmm? And then the next part about our cordyceps militaries is that it also incre um, increases oxygen intake of your cells. It's literally a stem cell, basically. Okay, it's literally like a stem cell treatment, our cordyceps military's um, product. Okay, sorry about that, sorry about that. Okay, you got the link, right? Okay, on my on my phone, it's not showing, but I think, got it. Thank you, sir, Richard, thank you so much, wonderful. Okay, now we're talking about, hey, you know, dangers of skin bleaching. This thing that's called skin bleaching, where, Ladies are bleaching and bleaching themselves uh, and not knowing that there are adverse health effects. My leaders, on my YouTube channel, from time to time, I get people, ladies in fact, from all across the globe, um, complaining that they were using skin bleaching products and that they've got, because of that, their skin burns. Okay? Um, so I will, that's why I have to talk about this as well. Okay. That's why I have to talk about this as it is also a problem on its own. So skin bleaching is now so popular that on a global level, skin lightening products now represent half the cosmetic industry. This is according to a recent news report from NPR. Worldwide, the market for skin lightness last year was, last year as in the year of 2020 was estimated at 8.6 billion US dollars and is projected to hit about 12.3 billion US dollars in the next six years. So we've got a lot of work, leaders, when it comes to this whole skin lightening thing and malaria. This highlights the, the demand for skin lightening products, although there is much more in the story. Skin bleaching specifically can lead to dangerous health issues. Both, uh, both certified dermatologists say a little enhanced self-esteem for the sake of aesthetics is not worth the risk of bleaching your skin. Let's look at what's at stake. So they basically say in layman's terms, um, let me read again. A little enhanced self-esteem for the sake of aesthetics is not worth the risk of bleaching your skin. So if you feel that you are not happy with your skin color and you feel that you being a few shades lighter is going to boost you, Sometimes it's actually not worth it. Okay, 
So let's see why. Let's see the reasons why from actual certified dermatologists. So they say deep-seated cultural notions of what constitutes uh, welcome, Prof. Mangolo. Welcome, Pastor Christo. Welcome, welcome. Deep-seated cultural notions of what constitutes beautiful skin are often the driving force behind the demand for bleaching products. Here's a problem, though. While certain skin bleaching treatments can be used safely under the guidance of a dermatologist, many products are sold over the counter or online. I think most of us know that. Okay. Those that are not regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration may be dangerous, even lethal, when applied over time. Okay, so here's some of the common side effects of skin bleaching. Uh, is this topic exciting, my leaders? I want to see, I want to see. Fire, fire, you're learning, you're learning. Okay, so some of the common side effects of skin bleaching are what? Please write these down. There's eight of them. So we're writing some of the common side effects of skin bleaching. First one, hypertension. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, skin bleaching can give you high blood pressure. Hypertension, fatigue. That's the second one. The third one, light sensitivity. Okay, that's that's a given. Um, yeah, light sensitivity. So hey, when you're out there in, in the sun, uh, you, you get a different reaction now after starting to use the skin bleaching stuff. The fourth one, numbness, numbness. You just go numb. Hey. The first one, this, I couldn't believe this one. Neurological symptoms, but I understood when I understood, when I got to find out what they put in these products. So the first one is neurological symptoms, including tremors, memory loss, and irritability. So basically, you become like you are um, menopausal. Let's just put it that way. Irritability, you know? Um, right. The sixth one, kidney failure from skin bleaching. Kidney failure. I, I, we are writing this down. I get my leaders. The seventh one, lung damage. Hello? Lung damage. And then the last one, the eighth one, is greater risk of developing skin cancers. So it might look, look glamorous now, but the uh, after effects are heavy. Unregulated skin bleaching treatments may contain dangerously high concentration of hydroquinone and topical steroids. Applied together, the hydroquinone and topical steroids, these two compounds halt melanin production in your skin. Melanin is a pigment that gives skin its color. In concentrated doses over time, these preparations can actually cause permanent discoloration of the skin. Permanent, permanent um, discoloration of the skin, typically gray, blue, and purple spotting. Imagine me being purple because I want to look yellow or light. Oh my God. This is a side effect of the mercury found in most skin bleaching products. Mercury is also known as a what? Carcinogen. It's a known carcinogen. A temporary fix may lead to uh, permanent damage. Using these products, especially from unknown sources, can cause rashes, acne, thinning skin, and scars. Some products may not even include an ingredient list, which is what? A red flag. Are we together, my leaders? Are we together? Let me go on the live stream. I don't see anything here on my phone. Oh, yeah, you see. My phone now doesn't say, look now, you've been commenting, oh my God. Yes, Lida Kulile, yes, there's men that actually also do that. Thank you so much. Yes, on a Lina side effect. Yes, hypertension, fatigue. Thank you for writing them down, my darling. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so this thing, hey, my leaders, we've got customers. We just need to raise the awareness. Okay, skin bleaching preparations are, are designed to inhibit melanin production within your skin cells. The treatments block the formation of the enzyme called tyrosine, which helps produce the amino acids of melanin. When melanin is no longer being produced naturally to replace skin cells that slough off, the result is a lighter skin tone. Here's another downside. Because melanin also helps protect your skin from harmful UV rays, bleaching products that stop melanin production can also put you at a greater risk of developing 
certain skin cancers. Although the research is inconclusive, scientists are beginning to believe that hydroquinone and mercury react with ultraviolet rays, and this only triggers more pigmentation, as well as premature aging. So you, you will look like a gorgo way before your time if you don't stop using uh, these questionable products that don't even have the ingredients. I mean, my leaders, our, our, all of our supplements, the tea, everything, the ingredients are written. Okay. Uh, let's see. But if your main goal is to achieve certain... Uh, let me see. Okay, no, I've missed this one. For patients with skin conditions like melasma, melasma is brown or blue-gray patches or freckles, uh, freckle-like spots, um, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, a board-certified dermatologist can provide treatments that are safe and effective. But if your main goal is to achieve certain cosmetic results, think first of your health. Before using any skin product, find out where it comes from, how it's made, and the ingredients it contains. If that information is not readily available, don't purchase the product. Fundamentally, most skin bleaching treatments are, um, alter your body chemistry at, the, at a cellular level. Can you be sure you're not slow, slowly poisoning yourself? With some cosmetic products sold online, it may not be possible to, to, to determine. So why take the risk? Why take the risk? Okay, I am going to share another uh, PDF where you can download it yourself. Um, this document, I took it from uh, the World Health Organization website. So it's going to take you straight there. It's Mercury in Skin Lightning Product. Wow, Lida Suiso. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Pastor Suiso. Wow, you see, we've got, we've got, we've got, uh, 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 so we've got patients, we've got clients, we've got customers for days. You know, you, you just need to know what's out there, what's happening, what's affecting the people, and then link it with our language product. Yeah, this thing is very serious. So, my leaders, okay, I've sent you the document, right? Where you will see what who says about these questionable products. Now, okay. Earlier on, like two hours ago, I uploaded on the Longreach testimony page a testimony about my own daughter, okay? I just thought, you know what, for some reason, I just kept on forgetting to share that testimony. But perfect timing, all right? Perfect timing. I shared that testimony because uh, I, was, I was going to talk about this, and I wanted you leaders to have something tangible that you can look at, that in Longreach we do have products that do skin lightening, not bleaching, okay? Skin lightening or brightening, but not skin bleaching, all right? And remember, our products are ISO certified, okay? They are organic. There's no mercury. There's no uh, hydroquinone. There's no funny stuff that's going to give you, um, you know, a, a, a health issues a little bit later on in your life. So on the testimony, um, for the leaders that do not know, just search for Longreach long product testimony, all right? I'm the admin there, but I always say that that page belongs to each and every one of us, all right? If you are a Longreach member, it is your page as well. Use it, abuse it, but just use it to make sales, to, you know, to grow your business. So our white tea soap, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Our white tea soap. For the customers that want to lighten their skin, they can use a white tea soap. And this is what my daughter has been using uh, since 2019, okay? End of 2019. All right? Our brightening hand cream, they can also use that. You will see, I, I also uploaded the products, my, my daughter, the before and after, and the products as well, okay? So we call it the Glow Master. <laughs> so, Glow Master, the Long Reach Hand Cream, yes, it's not just for the hands. Remember, our products are multi purpose. And then my daughter has been using the snake oil gel since last year as well. She's, she's supplemented over and above 
uh, the white tea soap and hand cream. And the results are amazing. Even her pimples, Jay, when they come back, Jay, they, they are sorted within no time. So she's also, and she's 19 years old. Or should I say 19 years young? Depends how you look at it. So she's also using this. Now, I also found something out. You know, I like to, to uh, on Facebook, Leader Precious, on Facebook, um, uh, Onalena, can you, can you please share, or any leader here, can you please share that from the WhatsApp group here, the, the, um, the, the testimony that I uploaded just now, because I shared it in various WhatsApp groups. So my leaders, can you please help me by sharing so that Leader Precious and all the other leaders that don't know about our testimony page, they can go there and just, there's a lot of testimonies, my leaders. All right, the other thing that's excellent for skin, my leaders, I am a testimony. Our vitamin C, our vitamin C chewable or yes, tablets. You know what? It's, it's 60 tablets, okay? You only take one a day. Uh, you only take one a day. So it's 60 tablets and there's normally 30 days in a month. So this means that it's two months supply. One bottle. Two months supply if you are only taking it but if you want maybe you're sharing it with someone else then it's one month supply and please note it's not it's for it's, it's not for children so it's for actually for kids that are 18 years old and above it's not for pregnant women it's not for breastfeeding mummies as well okay but if your child is 18 years and older you can share with them the vitamin c tablet the other beautiful part about vitamin C is that it's also, uh, um, what do you call it? It's jam-packed with antioxidants as well. Okay, it's jam-packed with antioxidants. I just want to give you the seven impressive benefits uh, of our vitamin C. Yes, it's got antioxidants. What is this? It may also help manage high blood pressure. Oh, by the way, last week when I was talking about lead, I actually forgot to mention vitamin C. Uh, for lead poisoning, to, pre uh, to, to protect yourself and your family, provided that your kids, you know, especially when it comes to vitamin C, to protect yourself and your family from lead poisoning. Remember, lead is everywhere, your pains, uh, the garden, for those who saw the training. You, you can take the calcium tablets. I did mention that. Along with that, vitamin C, okay? They, they will help you. Uh, fight late poisoning, which is also detrimental. So vitamin C may help manage high blood pressure. Okay. Vitamin C supplements have been found to lower blood pressure in both healthy adults and those with high blood pressure. The other thing that I forgot to mention about the um, calcium tablets is that they are best taken with meals. They are best taken with meals. Why is that? is because the, um, the calcium needs um, the digestive juices, all right? It needs the digestive juices for it to be properly digested, okay? So preferably not on, on, or not on an empty stomach, but take it with food. Maybe five minutes before you eat or just after you eat, you can take the calcium chewable tablet. It may lower your risk of heart disease as well. Hey, we're talking about vitamin C, yes. All these risks are also what risk factors for what? For malaria. So even for malaria, you can also recommend. Okay. The fourth one, it may reduce blood uric acid levels and help prevent gout attacks. So if you have a client that also has problems with gout, leaders, there you go. It helps prevent iron deficiency. So bo anemia, so your brown tea, your vitamin C as well, you can also recommend that. All right, my leaders. Um, vitamin C can improve the absorption of iron that is poorly absorbed, such as iron from meat-free sources. It may also reduce the risk of iron deficiency, like I said. It boosts your immune system. Remember what did they say about um, malaria? Actually, with actually all diseases, if your immune system is low, you will get sick. That is why when you are stressed, when you are highly stressed, very easy for you to get sick because why stress also minimizes your body's immune system. Okay, 
So it boosts immunity as well. It's got antioxidants for days. It protects your memory and thinking as you age. Hey, vitamin C, not just in. So my leaders, there's actually quite, quite a lot about our product, but that is all from me for today. Is there anything you want me to recap on? And are there any questions? <laughs> Little Teresa, together forever. I, lo I love that statement. Together forever, not just for now. Remember, let's let's drink. We we live in 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 in, in hey. Now it's it's too hot now. Now we wish to drink. And remember, after this, you you take a walk or you just run in place. Remember circulation. Remember that exercise that we did. Remember remember when you did this, and I said don't pull when you did the exercises. That every 30 to 45 minutes, you need to get up and do something. Are we together, partners? Are we together? I am done. It's 10 to 8. We've got, yeah, about 10 minutes or so. Actually, it's 8 minutes because it's 1952. Eight, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yes. Are there any questions, partners? Is there something that you want me to repeat or clarify with you? Are you happy? Do you see that we've got customers for days, for days, for days and days? Oh, Nalena, didn't you share this, the link yet? And I don't want to go on Facebook now. You know what? Let me do this, my leaders. This is the other thing I wanted to discuss with you right now. Um, my leaders, for any topics that you want me to touch on, please send me an email or inbox me via Facebook, but I actually prefer email as more professional, okay? Uh, which of the teas should we recommend for detox before the customer starts with any supplement? Um, any of the teas, my leader, I just spoke about um, the brown tea because it's also very good for liver support and kidney. But any of our teas, any of our teas, they can detox. I, I spoke about the brown tea because it's right now it's on special in South Africa. We've got that special that's been extended, the buy two, get one free. You know, so we need to detox because our system is heavily intoxicated. Remember, free radicals are everywhere. Free radicals are everywhere. Yes, I will I will send the email address just now. So let me just do it now. Uh, my email address is longreach.co.com. Yeah, or health topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Learn it at longreach sa dot co dot za. Yes. So that's where you can email me. Um, I, I, I have dedicated actually this email for my, for my long wish business. So the health hub is also part of my long wish business. Okay. So you can email me there for any topics that you want me to touch on in the near future. And remember, I actually follow the health calendar. So if you've noticed, like I was talking about malaria today because it's FedEx malaria week, but I also included another topic, you know, as for the leaders that are always in my trainings, I, there's never a time where I only concentrate on one thing in, in the health hub. It must be two or three, you know, it must be two or three. Because there's just so much that we deal with out there in the street. All right, leadership, thank you so much, thank you so much. Um, do you have any questions? Like I asked, is there something that you want me to, to clear, to clear on maybe? But the skin bleaching is, is, is a whole industry on its own. Like 50% of, of the, the money that they make comes from the skin bleaching thing. So we really need to go out there and educate our customers, you know? Um, should I go back to, but on Elena Road, the, 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 the dangers of skin bleaching, that it can give you hypertension, which is called high blood. It can affect your lungs. It can affect your kidneys. It can even go as far as, Thank you, Onalena. Oh, thank you, my baby. Thank you. You are one in a million. It can even give you skin cancer. All right. So skin bleaching. Yes, it's a trend, but it's a dangerous trend. It's a dangerous trend. So look at let's look at our customers. You know, let's educate them 
uh, about this whole skin bleaching thing because there's just this notion that lighter is 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 nicer or prettier. No such thing. As the Vivian, she's beautiful. She doesn't need to uh, bleach, you know. So imagine as if tomorrow she's yellow mellow. <laughs> yeah, no. So you see, my my leaders. Yeah, there's there's also this thing of confidence. Maybe we also need to, when we go and do our talks with our customers or do presentations, let's also include uh, something that has to do with confidence and just um, wrap it around language products. You know, we need to, ladies are not confident. There are just some ladies who feel that their complexion is not right or, you know, they're not educated. I mean, language is for everyone. That's the beautiful part about language, it's for everybody no matter from which walk of life you are from, you know, educated, uneducated, uh, you don't have parents, um, uh, you're a dark ginger, you know? In, in Nabile, I love women with the dark complexion. Like, you guys are so pretty. Oh, my goodness. So, unfortunately, I'm not that dark. And I love dark, dark, you know? Dark is beautiful. Uh, my leaders, I don't see any questions thus far, and my phone is still not with me. There's something wrong with my phone. My network on my phone. Mm -mm. Can I love and leave you, or do you want me to recap on something? Thank you, Leader Kulile. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's just please keep on um, sending the trainings to our partners. They will really save someone's life. They will really save someone's life. Who would have thought that malaria affects 290 million people? I mean, I never knew that up until I researched. And oh, it affects and over four, almost 400,000 of that 290 million, 400,000 die. And of that 400,000, 94% is children under the age of five. Onalina was, uh, and did the calculation. I didn't do the calculation today. What 94% of that uh, um, 400,000? It's almost that 400,000. Those are our customers. That is besides the lifestyle diseases, the sugar diabetes, the high blood pressure, hypertension. That's over and above that, you know? We've got kidney, kidney disease, CKD, chronic kidney disease that affects so many people. Ladies are not uh, doing proper stuff. When they have UTIs, they don't go to the doctor and check properly. That's why ladies are, have so much uh, kidney disorders. You know, who would have thought that a UTI can affect the kidney? I certainly didn't, didn't. Up until I started, you know, being a, a health pioneer, researching and seeing what is the problem in our communities. So the ladies are doing duck and dive when they have to go to the clinic or to the doctors. No. Yes, you can recommend the language products, not a problem, but they must still go to the doctor. They must still go to the doctor. Okay, my leaders, let me love and leave you. I see there are no questions. Uh, thank you, leader Onalena. Thank you so much for also sharing the, the testimony. Leader Precious, there's a testimony. Check Onalena, share the, the, the link. Please, uh, you can like the page and go through the testimonies. There's a lot of testimonies. Okay, there's a lot of testimonies, sorry. Feel free. Testimonies on so many things, even skin tags, you know, sugar diabetes, okay, the, the well-known ones, you know, sugar and everything, there's testimonies on that, but things that you would not, not really think of, like skin tags and, and skin ulcers, you know, things that we don't normally talk about. So my leaders, I'm so happy that we came to talk about malaria. I honestly, honestly did not know that malaria is so serious. So remember, as I recap, dangers, malaria. The, for leaders that live in, in areas, uh, tropical areas, tropical means very hot, ne? very hot areas. South Africa is one of them. Please, these are the products. These are the products. Okay, you can call this the malaria package if you want. You can call it the malaria package. Even the vitamin C will help. Remember, malaria also affects um, your internal organs, your kidneys, your lungs, you know, even your brain, cerebral malaria. 
All right. You can even recommend the vitamin C. At least vitamin C you take one a day. And then um, daily intake, before I forget, daily intake for vitamin C is 75 milligrams. 75, 75 milligrams. Um, this is for, for women and 90 milligrams for men. Here's a wonderful part. The long reach vitamin C contains 213 milligrams, all right, of vitamin C, 213. That's why we only take one a day. It's more than enough for both men and women. And remember, I said it's not for children that are under the age of 18, okay? It's not for pregnant women, it's not for breastfeeding mummies as well. All right, my dear, thank you so much for everything. Uh, I hope we learned. I hope we took notes. Um, if you need to revisit, that's a wonderful part of our technology. If you need to revisit, Please revisit and watch the shows. There's so many things that I've spoken about in the past shows that, yeah, even I myself, I also go back to the shows. <laughs> I also go back and I'm like, yo, there's just so much that, that that's like everyone is our customer, including the COVID patients. All right. Every single person is our client. If it's like the autoimmune diseases, like your lupus, obviously. The autoimmune diseases, um, they don't want the patients to take, um, what you call it? They don't want them to take immune boosters. So for people with autoimmune diseases, specifically lupus, then the alkaline pickup is there. We've got people that are actually taking this. Okay. Thank you so much, leader. Uh, Zovuyo. Zovuyo. Wonderful, my leader. So we've got products for days. We've got over 2,000 products. I don't know about you, but I'm sorted. Did you know that our mosquito spray, you can also use it on your dog once a week? I sell it to my neighbors around here. I live in the suburbs, okay? And here is the white people. There's, I actually didn't know. Then one white lady said, in Boston, because we've got WhatsApp groups, and they're like, I've been looking for the spray. The person that I used to buy it from, I don't know where they are. So I sell the mosquito spray. Keeps the ticks away, all these flies and stuff. So <laughs> you and your 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 dog, you are sorted if you have a dog in the house or in the yard. All right, my leaders, thank you so much. No, we, we are done. We are now almost at an hour. We, we are done. Just have a look at the, the replay. And remember, I asked you to email me for any health topics that you would like for me to touch on because really I know there's a lot. I haven't touched on a lot of things, but it's because why? I follow the health calendar and then I just meet with other things. But I want to do things that you are also interested in as well. All right. So thank you so much, my great leaders. On this beautiful day, let me love and leave you. And let me say goodbye. Remember, your wealth is your health. Cheerio.